so my name is Nick Kabatoff. I work for Intellirad Medical Systems. And I'm going to explain to you how you can use uh, Prometheus and Grafana to um, instrument your Postgres engine and to tune it. So uh, we love Postgres at Intellirad, but I'm ashamed to admit that we've never modified the shared buffers tunable, which is one of the most important config settings for your, um, improving your Postgres performance. Now, you can't just change the setting in isolation. If you increase your shared buffers, you also have to increase your checkpoint segments, which is another tunable, because having more shared buffers means you can have more dirty pages, and you want to flush those in the background, not in the foreground, while a, user is, a user's request is being executed. So our problem was, how do we test the change? Because our clients are clinics and hospitals, and they don't like it when we experiment on them. Um, <laughs> So there's a standard Postgres tool called pgbench that's used for benchmarking, and unfortunately, that's the best thing we have for generating workloads um, in the lab. And there is a wrapper for it called pgbench tools that runs pgbench and analyzes the results. So I wrote a wrapper for that wrapper to try out different config combinations and look at the results. But pgbench tools is great, but it didn't have everything I wanted. And it's basically a big pile of shell scripts and GNU plot. And that's not really my cup of tea to modify. So I decided instead I would take the most popular Postgres exporter on GitHub. And there's a fork for it that adds uh, the ability to execute arbitrary queries from a YAML file. So I figured this way I'll be able to see lots of test results and look at the, uh, the effect of changing these settings. One warning if you do this yourself, don't forget to increase your retention because I lost several days of test results because I came back to it a couple days later and they'd already been flushed. So, so now we use, there's this beautiful dashboard that you know, you're all looking at, of course. Um, and you can see in the top panel the different config settings, which is what, what I needed that fork for so that I could actually extract those. And you can look at how this affects your transactions per second and the checkpoint frequency and uh, who's flushing the buffers, whether it's the checkpoint engine or the background writer or the foreground backends, which is what you want to avoid. And uh, yeah, so it was great. We were able to see a whole bunch of test runs at once, which was harder to do with the PGBench tools by itself. And we were able to find for different workloads and different combinations of these tunables what the effect is on these interesting metrics. Unfortunately, we're still in the process of rolling Prometheus out to our clients, so we haven't actually been able to make the change in the field, but we're really looking forward to it, and thanks to Postgres Exporter, we'll be able to see what the effect is live. And there's a ton of PG statistics tables that we're looking forward to mining for metrics about dead tuples and cache hit percentages and so on. That's all. Thank you.